Uh, so I'm a server now at a brewery. <laughs> Something anyone could do. Sweet. High standard. You know, it's a great job. I like it. We just get the high maintenance people. Right? Everybody's got to have a thing now. I walked up to the table like, great. Just so you know, before we get started, there's three vegetarians, two gluten intolerances, and four food allergies at this table. And it's incredible. There's three of you. <laughs> I just listed nine things. Yeah, so we must have all three, and if I see bread, I cry. <laughs> all right, dude. I had one lady got super mad at me the other day. Just, I spilled a little beer on her baby's head. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I got bummed. She's like, excuse me, there's beer on my baby. I was like, well, I'll need to see some ID. <laughs> And she did not think that was funny, dude. She got so mad. A little, like, unjust, I thought. But first of all, I saw her eat her burger. That's not the first thing that's been spilled on her baby. <laughs> but also, she's the one that brought the baby into a brewery. Spills happen at restaurants. Maybe leave your baby at home until it's spill-proof or whatever. <laughs> I think oh, there's too many people in the world who can't even spill a beer without hitting a damn baby. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I'm bisexual. People don't expect that. Appreciate your support. Some people, some people like, pick a team, bro, like, they get mad for some reason. Uh, uh, I think it's because of how heteronormative our society is, and I don't know if that's just liberal arts for most people are straight. That's what that means. It's, it's true though, like no spoilers, but at the end of Avengers, Captain America doesn't drop his shield and just like grab Thor, just pull him in. You see it in like rap music too, it's always a song between a guy and a girl. I want a super gay rapper to have like the number one song on summer. Everybody's in their car singing along, like, yeah, all the boys in the club take shirts off. <laughs> or whatever. All the boys in the club take shirts off. Like, <laughs> I guess I don't seem gay. People come up to me after show, like, when God just comes up, like, you don't seem gay. Like, what do I do with that, man? <laughs> Thank you? <laughs> I don't know. I was, like, I was like, you're gay. And he's like, no, dude, not gay. I was like, well, you're being a cocksucker, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's a weird thing to say. He's like, dude. <laughs> it's also, it's hard coming out to uh, older generations, like my uncle's in his 70s. He doesn't really get the whole bisexual. He didn't get the bisexual thing. He's like, what do you mean, happy is gay? <laughs> Which half of you is gay? Because I don't want to sit by the gay half. <laughs> I'm like, no, Uncle Rob, that's not how it works. It's not half of a person that's gay. It's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. <laughs> but that, that can be problematic, too. Because, you know, Friday, maybe I'll hook up with a guy later. But then you wake up Saturday morning all straight. And you're like, what's this faggy doing in my house? <laughs> I didn't identify as bisexual when I was a kid either, so some people think I turned gay, like something that happened that turned me gay, which is a ridiculous thought. People are like, yes, as soon as your lips touch a dick, you're gay. Which would be the crazy game attack. <laughs> the most high stakes, because you could go back and you could touch your lips to a dick by accident. You're wondering how? Great question. Like, it's always on purpose for me, but I'm interested. What have you done it by accident? You can just slip and fall in the locker room. Get a little contact that way. Or maybe you're at an art museum or, a, or a, some sort of gallery where they have statues of naked men, and you're a confident person because you're a little arts degree. So you take corners quickly. Around one of these corners is a statue with some naked lip height. You just turn into it like that, dude. That's it, you can't, you can't go back. 
So you can just turn people gay. You sneak into someone's room at night. So they wouldn't even know till morning. They wake up, their mom's like, good morning. They're like, morning, mother. Alright, that's my time, guys. Thank you so much.